What's going on you guys, it's Asterix, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing an OBS tutorial. For more information on OBS, you can refer to my channel. I plan on making a whole playlist, basically a series of just stuff on OBS and teaching people who would like to learn about OBS, all of the basics, advanced, intermediate, all of those kinds of things. I've been using OBS for almost half a decade now, and I feel pretty confident with it. And I basically answer all of my own questions just by messing around with it. <laughs> so today we're going to be going over window capture. Now, a lot of people have been saying that they have issues with window capture and display capture. I just want to make a quick solution to that. When you right click here, you go to run graphics processor and then switch whatever is not your default because your monitors slash screens might not be running on whatever your default graphic processor is. A lot to explain, I'll make another video on that, but today I'm using integrated graphics because that's what my monitors are running off of. By the end of the video, this is what our scene should look like. This is studio mode, I'll explain that in another video too. Okay, so as you can see, it's well, my channel. And let me just show you where my channel is. See, this is that window. And that's what we're trying to do. No matter where you move this on your computer, it will stick static on your recording, even if you have it super small or you know really crunched down whatever let's continue there this is what we want it to look like at the end this is just a basic window capture example let's go ahead and do chrome capture for this one this is the name of the scene the scene is basically what you're going to be just recording and then each source is different for each one kind of like with a playlist you have different songs so for this scene we're going to want to add window capture and then name it something that way you, you remember what it is because you might pull as you can see you can pull from the existing scenes. If you already have a Capture Chrome, then you can just pull it from whatever scene it's part of. This will make your life so much easier because if you have a list of like 20 scenes, you're not gonna remember which one's which, especially if you're trying to use the same name. It will not let you do that because the name already exists. Much like when you're trying to save a file and the name already exists, it says, would you like to overwrite the existing file? All right, so we're gonna go to Create New and we're just gonna name this Chrome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the part that really, this is the only part that is very important. So you go to window, right? This is the window you want to capture and you'll just click on whichever one you want. In this case, I'm going to be trying to capture the chrome.exe. If I was doing a tutorial for OBS and I didn't want anybody to see the other window, I would go to uh, obs64.exe. The 64 is just because I have the 64 bit installed. You can literally like look up these and figure out what they are, but they're pretty explanatory if you know anything about computers, like the Xbox app, sound capture. That's obviously my Elgato capture card. And then the settings, because I have the settings open in the background. We want the YouTube channel for IM Asterix, right? Cool, cool, cool. Now, this is very important for if you have multiple Chrome windows open because you're going to want to capture literally the window title as well. This is the window title. This is that type of executable. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just press this. Okay, so now is the part that, you know, a lot of people are just like trying to fit it to screen and whatever. And if you have it kind of like in a weird format or you have a long monitor or something, for instance, like, let's see, a good example would be if I had it wider. Okay, it's OBS is going to record that it is wider. See how it's wider and it's going off the screen. So what you could do in this case is you could right click instead of instead of trying to do this by yourself and make it look ugly go to transform and then fit the screen. Right. And it'll fit it in the best form that it can. You can also do transform and um, stretch the screen to make it full screen if you really want it. Or you can just do the double click your window and it'll full screen, which will then make it fit perfectly within this window if you're running 1920 by 1080 resolution. That's basically it for this. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. This is a very basic tutorial, but I did give a lot of extra information that's nice to know. Like I said, if you guys have any questions or have any tips, tricks, whatever, put them down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and leave a sub. Until next time, guys. Peace out.